Moral of the story. Don't judge based solely on looks. Ugly Duckling Story Once upon a time, in a quiet farm, a little duckling was born. But this duckling looked a bit different from the others. Its feathers were gray and scruffy, and its siblings made fun of it. The poor duckling felt sad because it thought it was ugly. As days turned into weeks, the duckling realized it didn't quite fit in. Its quacks were different, and its feathers didn't look like the other duck's feathers. Feeling lonely, the duckling decided to leave the farm and find a place where it would belong. The duckling traveled far and wide, encountering many animals, but none seemed to understand it. As the seasons changed, the duckling grew into a strong and handsome bird. But still, it didn't feel like it belonged anywhere. One day, as winter approached, the duckling saw a flock of beautiful swans swimming in a serene pond. It watched them in awe, feeling a strange connection. The duckling approached the pond, and when it saw its reflection in the water, it gasped in surprise. Its gray feathers had turned into stunning white ones. To its amazement, the other swans welcomed the duckling with open wings. It had transformed into a swan, the most elegant bird of all. The duckling realized that it had never been ugly. It was just different because it was destined to be a graceful swan. Now surrounded by new friends who understood and appreciated its beauty, the swan felt happier than ever before. And as it glided through the water, it knew that being different was what made it truly special. The story of the ugly duckling taught everyone that sometimes our differences can lead us to where we truly belong. The Little Blue Bird Once upon a time, in a vibrant forest, lived a small and cheerful bluebird named Bella. Bella had the most beautiful blue feathers that shimmered in the sunlight. She loved to spend her days perched on a branch, looking out over the trees and singing her sweet songs. Every morning, Bella would wake up with the first rays of the sun and greet the day with her melodic tunes. Her songs were so lovely that all the other animals in the forest would stop to listen. The squirrels would pause their acorn gathering, and the rabbits would stop hopping around to enjoy Bella's music. But Bella wasn't just content with singing for her forest friends. She dreamed of sharing her songs with birds from faraway lands. One day, Bella made up her mind to embark on an adventure. She spread her wings and took flight, soaring high above the treetops. She journeyed through valleys, over rivers, and across mountains. Along the way, she met birds of different colors and sizes. She shared her songs with them, and they were all amazed by her beautiful voice. As Bella continued her travels, she made new friends and learned songs from different places. She learned a joyful tune from a tropical parrot and a soothing melody from a wise old owl. With each new song, Bella's own singing became even more magical. One evening, as the sun began to set, Bella realized it was time to return home. She missed her forest and her friends. With a heart full of happiness, Bella flew back to her familiar branch. When Bella arrived, her forest friends gathered around, eager to hear about her adventures. She sang all the songs she had learned, filling the forest with a symphony of sounds. The animals danced and clapped their paws and hooves, thanking Bella for bringing the world's music to their home. From that day on, Bella continued to sing her songs, not just for her forest friends, but for all the creatures that visited the forest. Her beautiful voice united animals of all kinds, reminding them of the magic of friendship and the joy of sharing. Moral 
Bluebell's music unites friends, creating happiness. Join Kids Storyland family. So let's get started. The Jungle Book Once upon a time, in a big, wild forest, there was a little boy named Mowgli. He was all alone, but a friendly panther named Bagheera found him and took him to a family of wolves. Mowgli grew up with the wolves, just like he was one of them. He learned many important things about the jungle from his wolf brothers and sisters. But there was a big problem in the jungle, a mean tiger named Shere Khan. Shere Khan didn't like humans and wanted to hurt Mowgli. Mowgli had many friends in the jungle. There was Baloo the bear, who taught him about simple and happy living. Bagheera taught him to be smart and safe in the jungle. One day, Mowgli met a tricky snake named Ka, but he was able to escape with his friend's help. Later, he met funny monkeys and a big, jazzy orangutan named King Louie. They tried to take Mowgli, but he got away. As Mowgli grew up, he learned lots of good things about life, like being brave and helping others. He also realized he could choose where he wanted to live. One day, Shere Khan came to fight Mowgli, but Mowgli used his brain to win. Shere Khan was gone, and the jungle was safe. Mowgli was a smart and brave young man, but he had a hard choice. He knew he needed to live with other people like him. So, he said goodbye to his jungle friends. Mowgli's jungle adventure ended, but he would always remember the fun and important lessons he learned. It taught him about friendship, bravery, and where he truly belonged, in a world of humans but with the heart of the jungle. If like this video like and subscribe my channel. Bye! Moral of the story True friendship lives with kindness and support. True friends Once upon a time, in a lively forest, three unlikely animals became the best of friends. There was Rory, the curious rabbit with soft, fluffy fur, Toby, the clever and chatty squirrel with a bushy tail, and Lila, the graceful and gentle deer with big, beautiful eyes. One sunny morning, as they were all gathering berries near a sparkling stream, they accidentally bumped into each other. Instead of getting upset, they started laughing together. Their laughter echoed through the forest, catching the attention of all the other animals. Curious to see why these three different animals were having so much fun, the other animals approached them. Rory, Toby, and Lila welcomed the new friends warmly and invited them to join in the fun. From that day on, Rory, Toby, and Lila formed a special friendship that brought joy and happiness to the entire forest. They played games, shared stories, and helped each other gather food. One day, a fierce storm struck the forest, bringing strong winds and heavy rain. The animals were scared and sought shelter in their homes. But Rory, Toby, and Lila knew they had to do something to help their friends. Toby, being the clever one, suggested, let's gather as many leaves as we can to create a safe shelter for everyone. Rory and Lila agreed, and they quickly started gathering leaves and branches, working together as a team. The other animals saw their determination and joined in to help. With everyone's efforts, they built a sturdy shelter that protected them from the storm's fury. As the rain poured down outside, the animals felt safe and grateful for their three friends' quick thinking and cooperation. After the storm passed, the forest was left a bit messy, with fallen branches and leaves scattered everywhere. Rory, Toby, and Lila led the other animals in a clean-up effort, turning it into a fun activity. From that day on, Rory... 
Toby and Lila became known as the forest's best friends, and all the animals admired their strong bond and helpful nature. Come be a part of our Kid Storyland family. Hello, dear kids. Welcome back to Kid Storyland. Today we have amazing story of two lazy brothers. So let's get started. Two Lazy Brothers In a quiet town, there lived two brothers, Tim and Tom, who were very lazy. They loved to sleep all day and avoided any work. One day, as they lazed under a tree, a friendly cat approached them. This cat was no ordinary cat. It could talk. The cat said, Hey, lazy brothers, you should really do something productive with your time. Tim and Tom were surprised and asked, What should we do? The cat replied, You could plant a small garden in your backyard. It's easy and will make you proud. The idea of a garden intrigued them, so they decided to give it a try. They planted some seeds, watered them, and watched them grow. It didn't take much effort, and they found it quite enjoyable. As the days passed, their garden flourished with colorful flowers and delicious vegetables. Tim and Tom were amazed at what they had accomplished with just a little bit of effort. The talking cat returned and said, See, you did a great job by being a little less lazy. Now you have a beautiful garden to enjoy. Tim and Tom realized that doing a little work could bring joy and satisfaction to their lives. Moral of this story is, a little effort goes a long way.
Royal Princesses In a magical kingdom, there were three princesses, Ella, Mia, and Ava. Each princess had a special power. Princess Ella could talk to animals. She had a bunny named Sparkle and a bird named Tweet as her friends. They played together every day. Princess Mia could make plants grow with a touch. Her garden was full of colorful flowers and tall trees. Mia loved taking care of her garden. Princess Ava could control the weather. She made sunny days for picnics and snowy days for playing. The kingdom's weather was always perfect. One day, a problem came to the kingdom. A big storm was coming, and it was going to ruin everything. The crops, the flowers, and even the castle. The princesses decided to use their powers. Ella asked the animals to help gather food. Mia made her plants grow strong to protect the castle. Ava calmed the stormy clouds. Working together, they saved the kingdom. Everyone was so happy and thankful. The king and queen were proud of their clever princesses. They had a special celebration to honor Ella, Mia, and Ava. And they lived happily. Join Kids Storyland family. Eddie the Eagle, the Forest's King In a big, beautiful forest, there lived many birds of different sizes and colors. Among them was Eddie the Eagle. Eddie was strong and smart, and all the birds liked and respected him. One sunny day, the birds met to choose a king to lead and protect them. Some birds said the colorful peacock should be the king because of its beautiful feathers. Others thought the wise owl should lead because it knew many things. Eddie, the eagle, spoke up, I may not be as colorful as the peacock, and I'm not as wise as the owl. But I can fly really high and see everything below. I can keep you safe and help find food. The birds agreed that Eddie's abilities made him a great choice. They made him their king. Under Eddie's leadership, the forest thrived. He kept the birds safe from harm and helped them find food when they needed it. Whenever there was a problem, Eddie used his smarts to solve it. He was kind to all the birds, no matter their size. The other birds realized that Eddie was special because of his helpfulness and care, not his colorful feathers or fancy tricks. They called him the King of Birds. And they all lived happily ever after, with Eddie the Eagle as their wise and caring king. If like this video please like and subscribe my channel. Bye.